If you don't think Mel Ott was one of the greatest players of all time, then you're Ott of your mind. His 42 home runs and 151 RBIs in 1929 were both records for players who were 20 years old or younger at the start of the season. His 1,249 hits were the second highest total for a 25-year-old in MLB history, trailing only Ty Cobb. Despite being only 5 feet, 9 inches, and 170 pounds, he led the National League in home runs 6 times. From 1928 to 1945, he led the New York Giants in home runs. This 18-season dominance is a record. No other player has ever led his team in more consecutive years in a single triple crown category. He was the youngest player to hit 100 home runs and the first National Leaguer to hit 500 homers. In 1943, all of his 18 home runs came at home. Only two other players in history have more all home field home runs in a season. When he wasn't hitting home runs, he was walking, drawing five walks in a game three times, holding the record for most walks in a doubleheader, drawing a walk in seven consecutive plate appearances, and leading the National League in walks six times. He was the youngest major leaguer to ever hit for the cycle, and he was the first National League player to have eight consecutive 100 RBI seasons. He was an expert at playing balls off the fence at the polo grounds. Runners didn't dare run on him after his 26 assists in his first season as a full-time player. He hit better than 310 times in his major league career. At the time of his retirement, he had 200 more home runs than the next highest National League player. He was a National League All-Star for 12 consecutive seasons from 1934 to 1945. He is one of only six National League players to spend a 20-plus year career with one team. To show you how popular he was during his career, a serial company ran a contest to determine the most popular major league players at each position. Mel Ott received the most votes at two different positions. One sports writer summed up his life perfectly. His death was the worst that could have happened to baseball, but his playing career had been the best. Where does Ott rank among the best of all time? Let me know in the comments. Want more baseball content? Hit that like and follow button.